Hey everyone, welcome back. Let's talk about point slope form today. So point slope form is just another way that you can write the equation of a line. Point slope form is a line with the slope m and it passes through a point x1, y1. And you use the equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So point slope form is similar to our slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, in that it gives us an equation for the line. The difference is y equals mx plus b uses the slope and the specific y-intercept, b, for that line and gives us a unique equation of the line. Where point-slope form uses any point, x1, y1, so the equation isn't unique. Let's look at an example. Here we're asked to use the labeled point to write a point-slope form for the line. And the point given is 1, 2, where 1 is our x1 and 2 is our y1. So we can start with our equation y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Well, we know y1 and x1, so we can substitute those in. y minus 2 equals m times x minus 1. Now we just need our slope and we're done. Well, since we're given a graph, the easiest way to find our slope is to use rise over run. So we have one point, and let's find another point where it easily intersects on the grid. How about this point? So going from this new dot to the given point, I need to rise by 1, 2, 3, and I need to run by 1, 2, 3, 4. So my slope then is 3 fourths. So my final equation in point slope form is y minus 2 equals 3 fourths times x minus 1. Let's look at another example. Find a point slope form for the line that satisfies the stated conditions. When two points are given, use the first point in the point slope form. This second part is crucial because, as I told you earlier, point slope form isn't unique. So if you use a different point than you're asked for, my math lab would grade that wrong, even though it would technically simplify to the same slope intercept form. So always make sure you're following the directions. So example one, we're given the slope and we're given a point that our line passes through. Well, the slope is our m, and the point that our line passes through is x1, y1. So we can just substitute those right into the equation, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So substituting in our values, we would have y minus y1, which is negative 3, equals m, 1 half, times x minus x1, which is negative 5. Now we want to simplify those parentheses so that we only have the parentheses around x minus x1. So y minus a negative 3 is the same as y plus 3 equals 1 half times x minus a negative 5 is x plus 5. So there we have the point slope form. Look at example two. Now we're given two points. So we're looking for the point slope form for the line that passes through two, four, and negative one, negative three. Remember, when two points are given, we're told to use the first point in the point slope form. So that means two, four is going to be our x1, y1. So the only thing we're missing is m, our slope. So we need to calculate slope using y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we know our x1 and y1, so that means our second point is x2, y2. So now we can plug these values into our equation for the slope to get 
negative 3 for y2 minus 4 y1 divided by x2 negative 1 minus x1 2 and now we simplify negative 3 minus 4 is negative 7 and negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 well a negative divided by a negative simplifies to a positive so this is a slope of positive 7 thirds so now we can substitute our x1, y1, and our m into the formula for point slope. So we get y minus y1, 4, equals m, the slope, 7 thirds, times x minus x1, which is 2. So there we have the point slope form for the line that passes through the two given points. Let's look at this next example. Here we're given an equation that is in point slope form and we're asked to write it in slope intercept form. Remember that slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So what we need to do to go from point slope to slope intercept is to first distribute the slope through the parentheses and then simplify until we have y all by itself on the left hand side. So if we distribute, we distribute the one third. So on the right hand side, we would have one third x plus one third times six. And the left stays the same as y plus two. Let's keep the left y plus two and let's simplify on the right hand side. We have one third x plus one third times six is two. Now we need to isolate the y on the left hand side. And since two is being added, we subtract two from the left and we subtract it from the right. So that leaves us with y on the left hand side and one third x, well two minus two is zero. Well, remember, adding zero doesn't change the equation, so our final equation is y equals one-third x. Let's go to the next page and look at a few more examples. Here we're told to find the slope-intercept form for the line satisfying the given conditions. Remember that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. So let's see what we're given. For question one, we're given the slope is negative two, and we know slope is m, and we're told that it passes through a point for negative three. We can call this x1, y1. So then we can use point slope form, y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1, plug in our m in our given point, and then we can simplify it just like we did in the previous example until we get to slope intercept form. So let's substitute in what we know. Well, we know y1 is negative three. We know slope is negative two and x1 is four. So we can simplify the left-hand side. y minus the negative three is y plus three. And on the right hand side, we can distribute the negative two to get negative two x and negative two times negative four is positive eight. Now we need to isolate our y, so we're gonna subtract three from both sides. So on the left, we have y equals the negative two x and eight minus three is a positive five. So there we have the slope intercept form for the line with slope negative two and passing through this given point for negative three. Let's look at example two. Remember, we're trying to get to slope intercept form. Here we're given the x intercept, the point three zero, and the y intercept, the point zero one third. So here we're actually given our b. Remember y-intercept? The y value is our b. So we're halfway to 
the slope intercept form y equals mx plus b. We just need m, the slope. And remember, slope is calculated by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we can use our two given points to find our slope. So y2, 1 third, minus y1, 0, divided by x2, 0, minus x1, 3. So the numerator, 1 third minus 0, is 1 third, and the denominator, 0 minus 3, is negative 3. Well, we need to simplify this. So this is the same as 1 third times negative 1 over 3, where our slope is negative 1 ninth. So we know m equals negative 1 ninth, and b equals 1 third. So then y equals mx plus b would be y equals negative 1 ninth our m, x, plus our b, one-third. So this final equation is the slope-intercept form for the line with the x-intercept 3, 0 and the y-intercept 0, one-third. Now look at example 3. Example 3 wants you to find the slope-intercept form for a line that is parallel to this given line, y equals 2x minus 1, and it passes through the given point 2, negative 3. Well, remember what parallel means. Parallel means that the slope needs to be identical to the given slope. So the slope of this given line is 2. So the slope of our new line needs to be 2. So we know our slope, and we have a point, x1, y1. So we can use point slope form y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. Substitute in the values that were given, y minus negative 3 equals m2 times x minus 2. We simplify the left hand side and we get y plus 3 equals, well, the right-hand side, we can distribute the 2 to get 2x minus 4. Subtract 3 from both sides so that we can isolate the y. So we have y equals 2x minus 7. So this equation, y equals 2x minus 7, is parallel to the given line, y equals 2x minus 1, but our new line passes through the point 2, negative 3. How about another example? Ah, tricky one. Without using point slope form, find the slope intercept form of the line that has slope m and passes through the given point. So I'm going to teach you another way to get to slope intercept form but without using point-slope form. So remember that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. And look at what we're given. We're given m, m is 2, and we're also given a point. Well, a point has the coordinates of x and y that fall on this line. So if we plug those values in to the slope-intercept form for y and x, then we can solve for b. So we have negative 3, our y value, equals 2, our slope, times our x value, 1, plus b. 2 times 1, we need to simplify to 2. So we have negative 3 equals 2 plus b. Now to solve for b, we need to isolate it. So subtract the 2 that's added to it, and do the same on the left-hand side. We're left with just b on the right and a negative 5 on the left. So now we know that b equals negative 5. And we were also told 
that m equals 2. So do we have what we need for slope-intercept form of y equals mx plus b? We do. We have our m and we have our b. So y equals 2x minus 5. Have a question or a problem you want help with? Leave it in the comments and I'll include it in one of my videos. If this video was helpful, subscribe to my channel for more math tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you next time.